Well, dang, I forgot to put a chair back here. What's up everybody, thanks for tuning in. Welcome to the video. It's a very special time, it's a very special day. You guys already know from the title of the video. We're here to celebrate, man. It's a celebration. It's a celebration. It's a celebration, man. We just hit 8,000 subscribers here on YouTube. Thanks to you. Thank you so much to everybody who has tuned in and chosen to subscribe to my fishing YouTube channel. I'm small potatoes over here in YouTube land, but you best believe we're on a mission to grow this thing. And we are doing that. We're doing that by the day with the help of you guys, so thank you so much. That's what this video is about. This video is a thank you to all of you for helping me, supporting me, getting me to where I am right now today on YouTube. 8,000 subscribers, thank you guys so much. Cheers to you. The celebration! We're gonna do something a little bit different in today's video. We're set up here in the living room, here in front of the Christmas tree, got that whole festive thing going on. As you can see, Santa's little helpers, AKA FedEx, have already been stopping by, dropping off some gifts, not even wrapped yet, already under the tree. I wonder what that could be. I'm not gonna tell you guys, but if you think you know, just by looking at the box, go down below in the comments right now and leave a guess. But yeah, a little bit different vibe in today's video. We're just hanging out, doing a little celebration, so I thought I would kick things off from here in the living room. Check out our Christmas tree. Lovely, lovely. So I thought about what I wanted to do to celebrate 8,000 subs and I thought, hey, why don't we just go back and review some of my favorite moments from here on the channel in 2019. This is gonna be part one. I've started going back and looking through all the footage and it turns out there's, a, there's just too much to fit in one video. So we're gonna do some clips in this video. I'm gonna roll through the first half of the year in this video and then I'm gonna do a part two of the same video where we'll continue on and we'll do like the second half of the year, the more recent content. So yeah, in this video, we're gonna toss it back. We're gonna go all the way back to the beginning of 2019 and I'm gonna show you guys some of my favorite clips. I had a lot of crazy stuff happen down there by the water. A lot of weird moments, a lot of fails, a lot of successes and a lot of cool stuff to show you in this video, man. So stay tuned. We're gonna get right into this first clip right now. And this is gonna be the nicest bedfish that I caught this year. Um, the nicest bedfish that I've ever caught in my entire life. Back in spring of 2019, got her to eat. Let's roll right into it, man. Bed fishing on foot before we had the bass boat. Let's get down to the water. Oh, there's a bass on a bed right here. Look at this fish on this bed right in front of me. Hopping that bandito bug right into the bed right now. It's in the bed. Fish is looking at the bait. The fish is just looking at the bait. He's got it. Oh no, he doesn't. I thought he had it. Bug is in the bed. He's looking at it. She won't leave it. She's just sitting right beside it gonna piss her off eventually she's looking at it she's got it got her nice fish got her it's the best fish of the year for me guys <laughs> ah that right there is what I'm talking about how's that for a fish baby nice Yes, yes. All right guys, back here in the living room after that first clip, I promise you it's still the same day. I just got cold, so I threw on a hoodie. Shout out to Cottonmouth Bass for hooking me up with the hoodie and the hat. But now let's get into clip number two. We're gonna fast forward a couple months and we're gonna go right into the day I bought my bass boat, man. One of my favorite moments ever here on the channel. One of my most viewed videos, one of my most popular fishing videos ever. If not, my, I think it is my most popular fishing video ever. The day that me and Jessica went to Fort Worth and bought Beetlejuice, my Skeeter ZX190 bass boat. Check it out, man, it was an awesome day. This is amazing, <laughs> let's get it. Let's go inside here and see what's up. It smells new boat in here. Jacob. Justin. Hey, pleasure to meet you, man. Yeah, I see it. Oh my gosh, so, all right, this is me getting a look at the boat for the first time, and I guess this is the official reveal. This is the boat, here's my new boat, guys. This is the Skeeter, this is the boat. If everything goes right, if everything goes according to plan right now, 
This is gonna be the boat we're gonna be fishing off of right here. I'm absolutely on cloud nine right now. I can't even express to you everything that's going through my mind. Are you juiced, babe? I'm juiced. That is a beautiful boat, man. Look at that thing. It looks so good. It sure does look good with a white truck, doesn't it? Everything. Get her on the water. Oh man, she looks good. Ooh, she looks good. We out here, three piece. Here we go. First rip on the new boat. Let's go. and respectful and just you know the values kind of stuff goes a long way with us man so we appreciate it man well, hey no thanks very welcome yeah, thank you for sure business. i mean that does mean a lot i know you came a long way to yeah, buy both yeah. Of us. Well, there it is now that was a happy dude right there man i was so happy that day man that was such a good day going and picking up my first bass boat such an epic and awesome day man i uh, felt like i was on top of the world and i still feel like i'm on top of the world with that bass boat it's my third boat i've been a boat owner since 2000 and 10, 2010, 2011, something like that. Uh, yeah, and then sold my first boat and then bought the Yamaha AR210, which I had all the way up until like February, March of this year. And then back in May, we went and got Beetlejuice, my first ever bass boat, man. I hope you guys enjoyed that clip of me and Jessica going and getting the boat. Now, I'm gonna roll right into the next two clips. These next two clips are gonna kind of go hand in hand together. The first clip is my first trip ever out on the bass boat. And then immediately soon after, I went out and I almost sank the bass boat. So I'm gonna roll into those two videos right here, let you guys check out some moments from those days where I took my bass boat out for the first time and almost sunk it. There she is, mine. There she is, the new piece. Let's go up here on the dock and get a couple shots of her before I take off. Oh man, that looks good. That looks even better in the water. The new Skeeter, Beetlejuice 3.0. There it is, man. All right, checking in with you guys for the first time out here from the water on the bass boat. mistake right there left the trolling motor down <laughs> Woo, that'll get you wet Ugh. first fish of the day first fish ever on my new bass boat come on let me land this fish there we go man there we go just a little dink but hey out here on Lake Travis what else would be more appropriate <laughs> oh man super stoked and there it is guys the first official fish on my new bass boat super grateful for this little guy man i was hoping i could at least get one out here and there it is man an official fish let's see if he's got any friends down there man yes here you go buddy that was awesome well of all the things i could forget to do i forgot to put the plug in the boat my boat is currently sinking if i die tell my mom i love her this is horrible man this is not good i'll kick the camera back on if i sink <laughs> man I'm not gonna lie guys, that was, uh, that was a little stressful of all the bonehead things I could have possibly done. So yeah, that was fun. Good news is the Skeeters are almost unsinkable. I've actually fished from that thing for several hours without the plug in it. And uh, that was about the worst of it right there. You saw me chug it back to the, to the boat ramp there. I was able to uh, get the plug back in the boat and we were all good. But let's keep rolling right along with this highlight video, man. Thank you guys so much for helping me hit 8K. I appreciate you so much. 8,000 subscribers. I never thought that this channel would hit 1,000 subscribers. I started this channel back in 2014, guys. I've been doing videos on this channel for over five years. That's crazy. It took me a while to get my legs underneath me, but I finally feel like we found our groove and we're growing at a pace that's faster than ever. I truly feel like I'm making my best content ever here on the channel now. I love making these fishing videos for you guys. I've moved on away from the old style videos that I used to make and we're full bore in the fishing game over here on this channel now, loving every minute of it. And we could not have grown to where we are now without you guys. So once again, thank you. Let's roll into the next clip, man. All right, this next clip that we're gonna roll into now was a special day out there on the bass boat. For the first time in my life, I was actually able to take my own father out fishing. 
instead of him taking me out on a boat and trying to put me on fish, the roles were reversed and I was taking my own father out on the bass boat for the first time to try to get him on some fish. And man, let me tell you, it was an awesome day. It was a very special moment. I'm so happy to have been able to document it, capture these moments for you guys so that you can check it out. Fishing with my old man out there, busting bass. Good times, man. Check out these clips. Right. Came back for it. He's fighting too. Come on, buddy. He's a fighter. Let's go. It's a nice fish. Let's go, buddy. He came back and smashed it. Did you hear him hit it the first time? Yeah. That M80. Da douche. I started talking to him. I was like, did you see that? And he came back while I was looking at you. Hey, uh, that right there is a nice looking fish. Man, out here fishing That's with, a good fish. Out here fishing with my dad today, guys. First trip on the new bass boat with my father. That's a nice looking fish right there, guys. Nice chunk. He blew up on the fluke. Sta doom And then came back for it and hit it. Let's let this guy go, man. That's a good looking fish, dad. Check him out. I'm just gonna put him on one of these now. That's what I'm gonna start focusing on. Get my dad on one of these. We know that they'll eat the fluke, so we're gonna tie dad on a fluke, and that's what's up. We can get back into the water, let this guy go. Boom! That's what I'm talking about. First fish of the day right there. There's one more look at that fish, guys. Let's get down here to the water. Let him go follow me down here with the camera dad real close to this fish come on right down here let's let him go and let him move there you go right under the boat yeah. that was awesome and look at that as soon as i started talking noise my dad oh, caught himself a fish awesome nice dad finally got him one on the fluke huh Yep, on the flute. Nice. Where'd the flute go? Oh, He's up there. Just run up the line. You're good. Nice. That's what I'm talking about. As soon as I was talking that noise, Dad got him one. That's awesome. I'm so happy that we were able to come out here and get my dad a fish. <laughs> That's what's it. up, man. Let's go ahead and get a release shot on that little guy. You ready? There you go. go. Nice. Large mouth, though. Right species. Yeah. Hey, that's number two, and that's number seven on the day, dude. On the fluke. Let's get a little look at that guy. The fluke. There we go. I'm telling you out here today, guys, I can't even get the camera on fast enough. And we're catching them left and right. That's fish number 11 or 12. We've lost count by now, man. Me and my dad out here wearing out the large mouth. That's what's up, man. I'm having a blast yeah. out here with you today, dad. Me I'm so too, glad man. to be Enjoy. able to come out here and put you on some fish. Let's let this guy go. Back in the water he goes. We're moving up, in, we're moving up into this little cut right here. Super secret spot over here on Lake Travis. We're gonna keep it down and we're gonna keep fishing. Try to catch some more. Fish number, I don't know, wow, 11. <laughs> Double digits. Double digit fish, by far, absolutely the most fish that we've ever caught in a video. Loving every minute. Let's get back of out there. Out here. Loving every minute of it. You heard it right there from the old man himself. We're having a blast. That was awesome, man. Good time. Shout out to the old man. He taught me how to fish. I grew up my whole life fishing with my dad. Catfish, sand bass, largemouth bass, bluegill, pretty much all the Texas species. We were up in North Texas hammering them ever since I was old enough to hold a pole, man. Shout out to the old man, and thank you for taking me fishing all those years, all those times. I'll never forget it, and I will always take you fishing on my bass boat. I know you're watching, so thank you, Dad. Next, we're gonna keep the family theme rolling, and I'm gonna show you guys some clips from a trip that I took with my brother Chris, taking him out fishing on my bass boat for the first time. Gotta love it, man. I love being able to take my family out and put them on fish, man. We had a blast out there, me and my bro, out there on Beetlejuice. Let's check it out. You're hammering them so it don't matter oh nice fish dude it's a good one to start the day for your boy right here nice yeah it's a decent it's a couple pounds at least boy that's a chunk right there boys look at that big chunky eaters right there boy he came up and smashed it boom fishing with friends we started out with a couple nice ones today man that's a chunk that's what we're after right there that was insane dude Feels like a good fish, bro. That was insane. This is a good fish. Oh. Nice, nice. 
double ups with the bro right here. We found him finally. Come on, get him up here. Get him in the boat. Nice. Look at that. Two nice fish. Yeah. On the fluke and the whopper plopper, doubled up out here with my bro. Later, bud. All right, man, I hope you guys enjoyed those clips of me out there fishing with my dad and my brother. That was good stuff, man. We're gonna keep this rolling right along because I know you guys wanna see the clips. Some of you guys may not have seen some of this stuff, man. Some of this stuff is from back before many of you were probably ever subscribed. So I'm happy to be able to share these clips with you guys who may not have seen this stuff. If you're interested in seeing the full videos, you can always go back through the catalog of videos here on the channel. Check out that all that stuff is there for you, man. Roll on back through this full year's worth of videos. We've been cranking out the content. It's been awesome, man. I've enjoyed every minute of it. Thanks again to you guys for helping me hit 8K. We're gonna roll into the last few clips here that we're gonna do in this video, but I can't thank you guys enough for watching along, following along, subscribing, interacting, liking, commenting on the videos. Even if you just watch and you don't ever even interact, man, much love. Thank you so much, I appreciate you. It means the world to me that you take time out of your day to watch my video. So truly, much appreciated. All right, let's get into these last few clips now, man. This next day was so awesome, dude. One of the most fun times that I've ever had out there on my boat fishing. It was the beginning of summer, the shad spawn was in full effect and the bass were coming up into the cove and chasing bait to the surface and they were just out there hammering the fluke. I was catching them practically every cast, literally like 20 plus in a row. Check it out. Come on. There he is, right there by the boat. Boom! Nice one. There he is. Came back for it. Got him right at the boat again. Right here beside the boat. There's one. Oh, I just had one hit it. I missed him. Came back for it. Got him. Got him that time. He's pinned. Come here to me, buddy. Shad spawn fishing, guys. This is what is up right here, man. When you could get out there and just catch him and catch him and catch him. This is the nicest one so far. Look at him. See that shad he just spit up? And there's another one. Once again, right here at the boat, murdering shad. That's four fish. I've been out here for... I don't know, 15 minutes. My advice is to go out in the beginning of summer and find those shad schools. And that is where you're gonna find these fish hitting like this right here. One after the other after the other. I've been fishing for maybe 20 minutes, guys. And this is the fifth fish. Come on hook, there we go. Look at that fish, man. Beautiful, number five, let's go. And if you count this one, that average is gonna go up. Smacking. There he is, fat shad spawn eater. Too cool. Six fish in 16 minutes, guys. Oh, there's another one. Seven, seven. Perfect hook set. And there's another one. Fish number eight. Big, beautiful fish. <sighs> dude, nice color on that dude. Look at the turquoise around his face, on his eyes. Dude, that fish is awesome. Yeah, dude, I didn't, I didn't even, there's another one. Fish number nine. I didn't even turn on the main motor. I haven't even started the boat guys and that's like fish number eight or nine i don't know there's another one <sighs> dude this is nuts <sighs> another one non-stop several fish on the fluke just then <laughs> later dude six flukes at least since i've been out here there we go They're out there just a little bit further now. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, yeah. Boom. Now that's what I'm talking about right there. So stick here with me and let's get these fish. Subscribe. There we go. He came up and hammered it, came out of the water, just annihilated it, dude. Nice fish. Oh, annihilated the fluke. That's a, that's a third nice, third or fourth nice one on the day, guys. Man, I could have, I have to start putting these fish in the live well. This is crazy. Oh man, this is the nicest one of the day, for sure. Nicest one of the day right here. Don't break me off, don't break me off. Oh my God, he's fighting so hard. Oh man, look at this fish. This is a nice one. This is a nice one. Oh yeah, come on, buddy.
come up here. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, guys, we're getting ready to wrap this thing up now. I hope you're enjoying the clips. Like I said, if you haven't seen some of these videos, please take the time. Go back, watch them, check them out. If this happens to be the first video of mine you've ever watched, make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I've got plenty more content just like this coming your way soon and I plan on fishing all through the winter. No matter how cold it gets, man, we're gonna stay out there, we're gonna stay grinding, we're gonna keep fishing so that I can bring you guys who are stuck inside, maybe up north, maybe you're frozen in, I don't know, or maybe you're just not able to get out and fish right now. Don't worry, I'm here for you. I'm gonna keep banging out these fishing videos at as fast of a pace as possible so that I can keep bringing you guys the content right over here on this channel. So make sure you subscribe. Now, we're gonna get into the last two clips. The last two clips. This video would not be complete if I didn't include this next clip. This was crazy. One of the craziest, if not the craziest thing that's ever happened to me out on the water. This video right here has gained me so much exposure. I know for a fact that there's at least one or two of you watching this video right now who found me from the deer rescue video. Dodo did a piece on your boy. It's now been viewed millions and millions of times over all throughout the world. It's been reposted and reposted and reposted and shared on Facebook, Snapchat. Snapchat themselves, the app, took the video of the rescue and put it on the main page of the Snapchat app and it was seen worldwide by just about everybody on Snapchat. I got so many messages from so many of you reaching out to me, telling me thank you, telling me that I, that the rescue video touched you, that you were moved in some kind of way, man. I've just, I got such an outreach of love and positivity. So many awesome messages from so many of you out there who have contacted me and told me that you saw the deer rescue video. So if you're one of those people and you're watching this right now, a very special thank you to every one of you. You guys have helped me grow to where I am now and it means the world to me, much love. So without further ado, let's get into the deer rescue video, man. That's right, I found a baby deer trying to swim across the lake. I was already out of the water, boat was on the trailer. But you know me, man. We're all about team nature, all about the animals over here. I had to throw the boat back in the water and yeet out there and save that baby deer. Let's check it out. The lady's dog just chased the deer into the lake and the deer's trying to swim across the lake and it ain't gonna make it. So, of course, what am I gonna do? I'm just pulled my boat out of the water, just got done fishing. Of course, I'm gonna put my boat back in the damn water and try to go save this deer. Stay tuned. I just rescued a baby deer from the middle of the lake. Yeah, I heard her scream. She was probably just laying down in the shade somewhere. You know, they'll leave them behind and they'll just sleep all day. But she is, uh, man. No, the, I love the animals more than anybody. Justin is my name. Well, guys, as you can see, I'm here in the park with the fawn still. I'm always getting into something down here, man. It's crazy. Poor little thing has nothing left. I think she was down on her way to the lake to get a little drink right when she woke up this morning. And then that dog chased her into the water. She's had a horrible day ever since then. But I stopped the deer from drowning. What do you want me to say, man? What do you want me to say? I stopped the deer from drowning. All right, here's me and the little baby. One last time, we're headed back down to the park right now. I'm gonna go see if I can put her back somewhere where her mama can find her. She's getting to where she can move around on her own. I don't wanna keep her away from there any longer than I have to. finally getting that life in her that I was looking for. She's starting to kick and act like she wants to get away. So I'm gonna take her over here in the woods and let her get away. You go pretty girl, you go find a spot to hide. You get back up in them trees and you hide, okay? I want you to make it, I want you to find your mama, yeah. There you go, there you go little one. You go find mama. You get out of here, there you go. There she goes guys, there you go. You go find a spot to hide. That's right, you get back in there and you hide where you're supposed to be. You get back somewhere in the trees and you hide. That's right, baby girl. 
I saved you. There she goes. There she goes. That's what I want to see right there. All right, guys, the baby deer rescue was definitely a huge moment here on the channel. It blew up. Like I said, millions of people have seen that. And uh, it just, it's pretty awesome, man. It, 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 makes me, it makes me happy to know that just that little piece of footage that I filmed uh, made so many people happy. You know, they were, they were so stoked to see that I went and saved the deer. And it made, it made a lot of people's day, according to them. So that makes me happy. Um, I didn't really, I, when I filmed that, I did not think that uh, it would take off the way that it did. I knew that it was gonna, that it was gonna get some traction. I knew that it was, it was a special moment and I knew that we had done something special there. But uh, I definitely didn't think that, you know, the Dodo, um, shout outs to the Dodo for the work that they did with the video. They did an amazing piece on it, did a great job with it, did things the right way, contacted me and, and went through me and did everything like they were supposed to do. And, that, that relationship has been awesome. So shout out to them over there at the Dodo for what they did uh, with that footage. And man, it, it was just a crazy ride and it's still going on, you know. Snapchat just recently posted that uh, to the main page. So it's just been crazy. I constantly get DMs and comments from so many of you reaching out to me about the deer rescue video. So once again, man, shout out to all of you if you're watching this right now. I appreciate you, much love. But we're gonna get into the last clip of this video right now. I'm gonna roll all the way back to when we hit 7,000 subscribers. The last celebration video, a thousand subs ago, and we caught this fish right here. Let's check it out. this point I hadn't had a bite in a couple hours and I was pretty much giving up I was gonna hit this cove one last time it was really hot and really humid I took the chest rig off I took my shirt off and I just had the dash camera running and uh, I hooked into this fish and man I want you guys to be able to uh, see this catch so I apologize seriously for not not having my shirt on here but I feel like this fish was definitely worth it though so I want you guys to be able to see me catch her she was big man and she put up a heck of a fight at first I didn't even know that it was that big of a fish. As you can see here, my rod just pulls down, and at that moment I knew, oh my gosh, I think I have a big fish on here. And then she jumped. You can see that first jump out in the distance there. And then she swung around the front of the boat. And when she was swinging around the front of the boat, that's when I just finally, that's when I finally said, oh my God, guys, this is a big fish. And then she jumped again off camera, was thrashing around, and I finally got her on the boat. And uh, then I held her up to the camera here. Once again, I wanna apologize for not having my shirt on. I know you guys don't wanna see that, but, this is about the fish, not about me. So yeah, look at the fish. Uh, that was incredible. That was the best fight I've had all year. The hardest fighting fish that I've caught in a long time. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I had given up on the day. I took my chest rig off and was just filming from the back. Sort of giving up on the day, man. Out here getting no bites on anything and decided to pick up the fluke one last time. She came up and grabbed it. I just felt a little bit of tension. Boom! And she started coming towards the boat. I was like, all right, decent fish. And then all of a sudden, boom! Oh my gosh, that was amazing. Once again, I apologize that I wasn't wearing my shirt there. It's super humid, super hot out here. The sun's not out, it's cloudy. So I just took my shirt off and was fishing. And of course, I ended up landing a monster. Let's take a look at that fish. Four pounds, 10 ounces. I already got a weight on her. She's in the live well. Let's take another look. Oh my gosh. I'm not gonna keep her in here long. I'm not gonna keep her in here long, guys. But that right there is what we come out here for, boys. Look at that. Boom. There she is. She might not even all be in frame. She's big. That's a fat fish right there, man. I'm super stoked. Boom. That's gonna do it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I've got more highlight clips coming. 
So if you're interested in seeing more content like this here on the channel, make sure you sub and you'll catch all that content as soon as I post it. What do you guys think of this video? Did you like this? Would you guys like to see more of this type of stuff? Are you interested in me going back and doing more highlight videos? Are you interested in me sitting here and talking about some of the gear that I've been using maybe? Maybe doing some review videos on some of the reels and rods and baits that I use here at the table. If that's something you guys are interested in seeing, make sure you leave me that feedback down there in the comments because I need to know, and if you do, I might be able to make that happen for you. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching. I'm gonna keep cranking out this content and I'll see you guys on the next one. Oh yeah, real quick, I wanna say before the video ends, if you guys are interested in seeing me open my Christmas presents, make sure you subscribe to the channel because I plan on doing that right here with you guys on video. So make sure you guys sub so you don't miss that. It's gonna be epic. I have a feeling there are gonna be more Christmas gifts showing up here under the tree in the next few days. And on Christmas morning, I promise you guys, and on Christmas morning, I promised you a fresh unboxing video of whatever Santa Claus happens to bring me. So make sure you subscribe right now so you don't miss it.